Hello all, welcome to session 78 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I am going to explain about bottom-up integration testing approach. So let's get started. In one of the previous sessions, I already explained what is integration testing and also I mentioned the different approaches we can choose for performing the integration testing like Big Bang integration testing approach, top-down integration testing approach, bottom-up integration testing approach, and finally the sandwich integration testing approach. In this session, I'm going to explain about this bottom-up integration testing approach. So what is that bottom-up integration testing approach? In bottom-up integration testing approach, initially the bottom level units, okay, the complete bottom level units will be created, okay? This will be ready. After this bottom level units are ready, we'll start integrating this bottom level units with the top level units, okay? With the upper units. So like this, we'll start integrating this bottom level units with the upper units. So here integration is done from bottom to up. So this is called as, this kind of integration approach is called as bottom up because we are integrating the units from bottom level to the upper levels, bottom up. That's why we call that as bottom up. So like this, the units are getting integrated from bottom to upside. So there may be one situation guys, okay? There may be one situation while you are integrating these units from bottom to up. That is, there may be one unit, okay? There may be one unit which may not be ready, okay? Because of this, the entire integration work is getting stopped. So what developers will do in this case when one of the unit is taking more time or, okay? So because of that, uh, this bottom-up approach is not getting possible. What developers will do if this unit is taking more time to get ready? Then in that case, developers will create something known as drivers, guys. Drivers are like some dummy, dummy units or dummy code or temporary code, whatever you call, okay? They will create some dummy code. These are not the real units. They are like dummy units, which will simulate the real units. So they will put the drivers in place of non-ready kind of units and continue the integration, okay? Continue the bottom-up integration. So these are known as drivers, guys. This kind of uh, dummy units used in the bottom-up approach are known as drivers. So once the real units are ready, then these drivers or dummy units will be replaced with the real units in this bottom-up integration testing approach. So hope guys, you understood what exactly is this bottom-up integration testing approach. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.